Hey guys, here I am again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. This time we're not demonstrating a customer's radio. Um, we're going to be talking about weed whackers and how they tend to run way, way, way too fast, causing you to break a lot more line than is really necessary. Uh, <coughs> Apparently, low RPM AC motors cost more to make, so your cheaper weed whackers like the ones I buy, they just run at an insane speed. Um, probably, they could probably work just fine on maybe 60% of line voltage. Uh, that way, they spin fast enough to cut the grass, but they don't spin so fast that they just lose their minds and break on every little thing. So, anyway, the solution to... Uh, Obviously, it's really hard to reduce your AC voltage without a transformer, uh, and even if you even if you went that route, the output would not be adjustable. You'd, if you if you, let's say you uh, got a transformer for your machine that put out 60 volts, well, you know you might want a little bit more than that once in a while. So you, it's really nice to be able to adjust it. So, enter what is called a variac. Uh, the the word variac stands for variable AC. And uh, it's a pretty common item among electronics technicians. Uh, they're usually used like on an old fashioned, like on an old ancient tube radio. Uh, when you plug it in, you're going to want to you're going to want to bring the AC voltage up gradually. Uh, you know, because if, if there's like a shard in there or something, then you're going to find out a lot sooner. You know, without damaging a whole bunch of stuff. Well, all this does is this just plugs into a wall socket, and then it's got two outlets here for you to plug whatever you want to control into it. Uh, and so I decided to try this uh, device to reduce the speed of my weed whacker, so I don't uh, break so much line. Uh, this costs less than 70 bucks from eBay. They're widely available, and they will eventually pay for themselves in the uh, in the line that you save. Especially if you purchase your line on those pre-threaded spools, those are like 20 bucks a piece, and it's just ridiculous. So, you know, once you've uh, once you've basically replaced your fourth spools worth of line, this thing has already paid for itself. So it's a pretty pretty wise investment. And so, just to give you a general idea, I'm going to turn it on. And right now I've got the voltage set to minimum, and you might see the meter come up as I raise the voltage. See that? See that meter is slowly coming up. Now this will go from this will actually go a little bit overline voltage. It's designed to take in 120 volts, or most people call it 110, and it's adjustable up to 130. So you want to be sure, you know, you want to be careful not to over adjust it. Uh, these can also be used for light dimming, uh, anything that requires you to reduce your AC voltage coming out of the wall can be handled by this. Uh, now some stuff won't respond well to it, but like AC motors and things like that will respond. So, okay, I'm going to stop blabbing. Let's go ahead and adjust this thing for regular 110 output voltage. And I'll plug my weed ear in, my weed whacker. And this is going to be really awkward because I don't have enough room. I'm just going to, I'm just going to run it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this headphone off and lay it on the desk so I can demonstrate the weed eater. And you'll see, you'll be able to tell by the sound that it's reducing its speed as I turn the as I turn the voltage down. So let's let's try that. Okay, full line voltage. Okay, I'm going to knock it down to say uh, 80, 80 volts. Let me see if I can do this. With, let me see if I can do this without injuring myself. Okay, that's the only purpose of this video. I just wanted to demonstrate how you can save a heck of a lot of line on your weed whacker by uh, using a variac, which again stands for variable AC. 
less than 70 bucks on eBay. This is a Vivor, V-E-V-O-R, Variac. Uh, doesn't seem to have a model number. Oh, here it is. Uh, model TDQC2 looks like, and this is a this is a 20 amp. This is a 20 amp Variac. Uh, now you want to make sure that the Variac that you buy can handle the current that your weed whacker requires. Uh, this one that I just bought is a 4 amp weed whacker. I I had a 3 amp uh, Variac that I used to check and see if it would work. Uh, obviously, I can't use a 3 amp Variac, you know, for an hour at a time with a 4 amp unit. It's, it's pretty uh, pretty likely to blow out the Variac. So I, I bought a 20 amp Variac. Now, when they rate Variac's current rating, that's the current that it consumes. It's not necessarily the current it puts out. So this is a 20 amp Variac, but the actual current output, maximum current, is actually. 15.3 amps so we still got plenty of you know we still got plenty of reserve current there and uh, you know when you reduce your voltage you're also going to you're also going to reduce your torque so uh, chances are when you use your weed whacker with a variac like I'm about to do for the first time in about a week or so um, you know you're, you're gonna want to probably you know make you know adjust it for this much try it for a little while okay and need, need a little bit more kick so we can turn it up a little bit more uh, or you know need a little, don't don't need quite as much kick it's cutting just fine and I'm not breaking lines so we can so we can uh, you know crank it maybe down a little bit more and see and this will also save a little bit on your electric bill because you're reducing the voltage that the uh, that the item is using and you're thus reducing the current and thus the kilowatt hours that you're using with a uh, with your weed whacker when going through a variac so that's all i wanted to say thanks for watching and listening and we'll see you guys next time uh good luck with your variac and your in your weed whacker